What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. In the last episode we started the first mission, Infinity's Wild Ride, and today we'll be continuing it. As per your guys' request, my focus will be to make today's video a little bit longer, just so that we can finish up Infinity's Wild Ride. You guys have been wanting to, like, you guys have been begging to see more in the comment section, so I definitely want to do that. We also have uh, two new quests, uh, Power Plant, play 10 plants that cause 5 sun or more. That'll, that'll be eventual, and then we have use the auto build to change up your team. That seems pretty easy, so why don't we get started with level number three, and of course mission one, just right here. Ooh, let's see, whoa, what are they doing now? They're on the, they're on the carousel, I think it's called? I don't know. <laughs> the merry-go-round, they're destroying everything. The pea shooters are fighting back though, that's so cool. All right then, we can choose our team, but we can also press this auto build button, and it'll choose some for us, and we get a, a little mission for that. I don't think we actually have the ability to change our team now. I think we don't have many cards to do that, but basically say like, I don't really like Iceberg, but I have like a better card that's better than the Iceberg Lettuce. I can change my team and make my own entire deck. Um, I think decks right now are anywhere between 40 and 60 cards though, which we don't have that many. Like we only have enough for the deck that we have. But with that being said, we're going up against Infinity again. No problem, we'll take him down. All right, Infinity. Time for round two, right? You wanna fight with me? I guess we're fighting the second infinity because you know, there's multiple. <laughs> That's fine with me. Alrighty then, zombies play, huh? All right, let's go for it. Hmm, I only have enough for our Torchwood right now. So I think I'll skip out just because he's not playing anything. Oh no, what is he doing? Uh, make two, oh no, he's doing his special move. That ain't good. Um, oh my. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That was a good move by him. All right, well now I'll have a little bit more. So let's see what, what happens with this. What is this right here? It's gonna heal me? Darn, I didn't get a good like card here. Cause I can heal myself up and that's it. Cause this only has health. Like it can't survive against this. It needs another plant. Darn, looks like we'll have to just do this. All right, um, hmm. Well, this is gonna be a, a difficult blow. I think we might've just been dealt a bad hand there. Which is a bummer, but We'll just have to deal with it for now. All right, we're at 12 health. I mean, 20 just isn't a lot. Deal five damage. Oh, I can only do it in the middle lane, though. Is that all I have? Or no, that was my uh, shield move. Okay, well now I have a little more sun to defend myself here, but as you can see, it may be a fair bit too late. Hmm. All right, well, we're gonna do what we can to take care of as many zombies as possible. We're going to bounce a zombie. Oh, that was all of my mana though. I thought I was gonna have one left. Oh darn. All right then, the tennis zombie, I think she has four health her first turn, but then after that she's a one one zombie. Let's see. Cause I've been playing, I'm trying to research the game ever since the second episode to deliver you guys some good, you know, gameplay and everything. Oh yikes, this is where things get really bad. We just got dealt a really bad hand. Oh man, hmm. All right, so I have four sun. That isn't too much. I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna do this, because that's really all I can afford to do. Hopefully it works out. Ooh, this might be our first loss though. Uh, this is gonna put us down to one health still. Oh no, 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 oh it's game over. That is such a shame, we got the worst hand dealt to us. Like we got the worst cards right off the bat. Maybe we should try this again with Solar Flare. I think that'd be a bit better. All right, well, game over. Infinity wins, brains! <laughs> At least we know now what happens when we lose. But hey, we got a quest complete. Now you can make your teams exactly the way you want in the team editor, that's good. All right, and we get a new quest, play the zombie HQ. You can now customize your team, that might help. Tap here to pick your favorite plants and make the most powerful team ever. So I could go into the change team here, we could create a new team. But the thing is, is that we don't really have too many cards right now, so we're basically gonna have like the identical deck that we currently have for Green Shadow. Build your team by dragging plants and superpowers and down from your collection. Okay then, add up the four of the same teammate to get it more often in battle. Include teammates with low sun costs to play early and some with high sun costs to hit hard. Uh, cool, or collect more teammates from premium packs in the store to make unique and powerful teams. All right, that's pretty cool. With that being said, um, hmm. I'm not really too sure her. I think that 
we don't really need to build a team right now because like I said, like we could do an autocomplete actually, and it's basically what we'd have to do anyways, you know, because we can only put three or four sunflower, or not sunflowers, but uh, pea shooters in there. So it's really not even worth doing right now. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna move over to solar flare, and then I'm gonna try to get like a second go at that infinity. All right, we got a much better hand this time, like a starting hand. Cause this is a new plan right here. This is our puff shroom. Make a one-one puff shroom with team up. And I think team up means there's gonna be one extra. If we check this out, shroom for two. One played, make a one-one puff shroom with team up here. And so basically, I'll show you guys what that means just to show it off. We can do that. And then this guy will pop right up there. So we can even take a hit for us along with delivering an extra one, which is a really good card. So I, I want more of the a little puff shrooms in my inventory. Uh, make, uh oh, this ain't good. This is like a little bit of a ridiculous move to get right off the bat, but hey, like he's gonna deal four damage to me, I'm gonna return it with two. It's better than nothing. Hmm, I definitely have a good hand this time. Like I feel like we'll be able to counter up with that pretty darn well right here. I'm gonna put one here. We're gonna put another one here. And that'll work for now. Um, He's probably going to take the lead in damage still but at least I'm gonna be able to destroy most of his guys on the field here. And that's sort of a bigger thing, it's like, I will be able to catch up in the late game as long as I keep control of his cards. I feel like that's a big thing people need to keep in mind. Controlling the field, especially against something what seems to be the Infinity, seems to be way more helpful than, uh, you know, just try, try to throw out stuff and hope it works. All right, so that's a very big move right here. All plants get plus two damage, but if I don't have a lot of plants, it's not gonna help me. Hmm. This gives me a plant gets one one. Hmm. Let's see. If you made it at least six, if you, I, I haven't done that. Hmm. This is tough, just because of how easily he can control the field. I think I'm gonna end up doing this, and then we can also do this, and hopefully that always do some damage to him and get some of the people on the board out of here. Hmm. All right. Maybe I should have put that uh little green. I think it's a leak. I think we should have uh maybe put that. <laughs> on the uh, high ground, but let me heal myself for two just because I got that ability. That would be really helpful. All right then. So, oh, I thought that was gonna go through and go to infinity there, but it didn't. All right, that's a shame. Hmm. Well, we have a pretty powerful card, our, our Puff Shroom on our team right now. Now, this is a new card. This is a leak, I think. Let's see. Come on, there you go. Poison Ivy, oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> It's an anti hero, which basically means that when it does plus four strength against heroes. So if I hit a hero directly with this, it's gonna do four damage. But besides that, it only does one. But that's still a really darn good card. I could put him like over there. But I only have four. It's really frustrating. It's like, I don't know why this is so hard. I did it last night on my phone. It was easy peasy. <laughs> Some say that zombies aren't easily shot. I beg to disagree. Hmm. That's a powerful card right there. But if I put it against something like. Here, I'm just gonna do this for now. It should survive. Ah, oh, dar, this is such a bummer. This is bumming me out. <laughs> I can't believe we might actually lose twice to this right now. I mean, we still have room to turn around. It's 10 to 14 right now. That's not impossible odds. Whoa, wee, what is this guy? Oh, wow, I think he buffs our other mushroom. That would be a big deal right now. Let's check this out. When played, all mushrooms get plus one, one. We're gonna do that, and then we're going to, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have put it there. Oh well. Let's also throw down our, I think that's the very angry. <laughs> all right, all right. This should hurt him good. This is gonna take out more than half his health. He's gonna be left with two HP, and we're only gonna lose one. So this is a big turnaround right here. Boom, there's seven damage. No, we got a mini charge. Dang, that's just unlucky. All right, what is he doing? Whoa, it's two two now. Hmm. Well, he's gonna be able to take care of that cuckoo zombie, and we're only gonna do a good five damage there. But we're gonna lose some health now. It looks like we don't lose the damage that we gain from that big shroom, though. Okay, this is sort of bad. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I guess I'll do this. Not really sure if that was worth it, but we'll be able to do six damage to him here, and we're gonna lose our poison ivy, but that's okay. We're actually turning this around right now. We can do it. All right, then. He's gonna be down to three health, and we didn't lose any health there, so that's actually good. So let's see if he's gonna be able to take care of two plants at once, because if uh, if my Puff Shroom hits him, it's game over for him. So, and he didn't play any cards, actually. It looks like it's GG. We win. That was a close one. That was a guarantee. That was very, very close. So I'm glad we were actually able to pull out the victory there. Not too bad at all. Plants win. <laughs> awesome. Now let's hopefully not have as much bad luck in the upcoming games. 
All right, what do we get? Choose your award. Stormfront, all plants get 1-1, one, one, and Groshroom, all... I, I think... Obviously, this is sort of the be better of the two, but it also costs more. I think for now, we'll take a Groshroom. Can never have too many of these cute little guys. All right, so we're moving on to the next battle now, and we can uh, choose Solar Flare. I think we'll do Solar Flare again, but let's see what our missions are. We still haven't summoned any plants that have more than five sun. All right, then. Hmm. All right, then, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything more I want to add to our team. I think that for right now, that the, the way the game auto-builds the team is pretty good. There's a lot of plants we still haven't even seen yet, so we'll definitely go and try that. Then we get, whoa, Brain Freeze. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh no, I guess we'll find out together, right? Ooh, whoa, he's huge. There he plops on in. <laughs> he's scary looking. All right then, so it looks like we're taking on Brain Freeze. Bundle up, Brain Freeze is going to try to put you on ice, yikes. He also has heard a herd of zombie pets. He'll use them to get the jump on your plant hero. Hmm. So I've actually played this one myself just because I've been you know, practicing on my phone. I wanna get really good at this game for you guys, but look at this hand right now. What is this card even? Heal two, well I'm not missing two. So I can at least heal up what this guy's about to deal. We got like a dog walker zombie. Oh no, that poor dog. Oh, I feel bad for him. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that, you know that? All right, hmm. So what is this going on here? We have dog walker. When a plant is played, the zombie moves here. Hmm. Oh, so that's really menacing. So if I try to put him in front of the Yeti, the dog is gonna get in his way. Hmm, is the zombie walking the dog or is the dog walking the zombie? Hard to say. So what do we have here? This is the mixed berries again. Hmm, I forget what it does though. Do three damage. I think, wait, how much is, that's two though. So this is where it's a weird, like I can't put a pea shooter in water. You can only put amphibious things in water. You can put amphibious things outside of the water sometimes, but only amphibious things can go in the water. Huh. All right. With that being said, I think our best option right now is to do that. We're gonna take three damage, but at least it's not five damage. <laughs> and now we got, after this turn, we'll have a few more options to us. We can start doing direct damage through the poison ivy, or we can do some other strategies. Just right now, we don't have any, wow. We don't have any, uh, what's it called? Hmm, water amphibious plants. We got a little berry, like grapevines coming up. Sour grapes, one play, do one damage to each. That's actually, that could be good for next round, because we could take out all, I wish we had enough sun for that right now, because we could take out all of these guys right now. I'm trying to decide what to do here. It can be a little weird, because if I don't do anything, he's gonna deal one, two, three, four, five, six direct damage, but I could also deal four damage directly. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're gonna go with this. And then we'll also go with this. And he should survive this little, yeah, he, the mushroom will survive. So that's actually pretty good. All right, let's go for it. So he, he'll live to fight another day, which is pretty darn good. So there we go. We, we drastically reduced the amount of damage we would have taken there. Obviously, we still took a good chunk. This Yeti guy's tough. Like, this actually is more difficult than the time I tried it on my phone. So, hmm. What do we got going on? We can buff him by two, but that'd be most of our mana. Um, I'm gonna go with this, actually. You know what, let's just go all out on that. It's gonna do one damage shot. That's a big move. Sour Grape seems like it's gonna be a game-changing card. I'm gonna keep my eye on that one. All right, good. If I can get more of those in my deck, I absolutely will. Ooh, and now this is where the turnaround starts, guys. We almost have our shield filled up. Hmm, plants playing. All right then. I could heal myself up. I can, you know what, yeah, let's go with that. I think that'll be the best course actually. We'll be able to do four direct damage here, heal myself up once, and then do this. In the next round, if I still have all these cards, I can totally place a angry berry, or berry angry, whatever it is. <laughs> but right here, this is gonna do a huge chunk of damage to him. Gonna be able to get him down to seven, no, six health actually, wowee. Nice, oh, cause he gains plus four over his one damage. So it's actually five damage in total. Crazy. Hmm. So yeah, for right now, when I throw in the berry angry, that's gonna give plus one, or plus two to everybody, and this is game. We won, we've turned this one around too. All of the turnarounds right now. Freeze all the plants on the ground. Oh no, he uses crazy Yeti moves. Oh jeez. Well, we're luckily enough going to be able to have his health, and then he's gonna do one damage to my one mushroom. Darn, he's not going down without a fight. Nice to know. <laughs> 
but that plus two to all plants is permanent, which is insane. Like, usually those kind of moves are only like one turn in most card games. All right, this is do three damage. So we could actually just do that, and then we can go into fighting. I can put this like here just, just because, just to summon more plants that cost five suns so I can get that quest done, but we're done, we won. Uh, plant gets minus one one, not worried about it, we won here. He's crying because he knows what's happened. We've won. <laughs> this berry's gonna hit him up, and then this sunflower, this wonderful rainbow, defeats the Yeti. And there's another win for us, so we're doing pretty good now. Solar solar Flare seems to be much better for me personally than Green Shadow, but maybe that'll change in time. Quest complete, Dr. Zomboss wants you. Play as a zombie at Z-Tech headquarters. We'll do that in the next episode for sure. Uh, play at 10 plants that cost five cents or more is almost done. Oh, or did we do it? I'm not sure. Alrighty then, now we can choose. Hmm. I think right now, Berry Angry, since the damage stays, is a very powerful plant. All right then, um, let's go ahead and do this final next battle. Let's see what happens here. All right then, Solar Flare, are you ready for battle? Hmm, it looks like it, we can auto build again. Let me check out my missions right now, because, all right then, we still need to do more. We only did one there. <laughs> what is this button right here? I don't know, I don't wanna press it and like mess it up. Unlock refreshing starting teammates. Play a game, play games to unlock refreshing what? What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll find out at some point. Uh, for now, though, we should be good. Solar flares, solar flares, picks. What? What does that mean? Solar flares, solar flares, picks. Oh, was that like her deck? Oh, that's the name of her deck. I just thought the game was going crazy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm. Wow, we okay, we got quite a thing going on here. Bosses have special advantages. Infinity has already cloned himself. Be careful. So there's like a little infinity on the field now. This is tough. Ready, set, boss battle. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy, because of course he'll do two damage to me. All right. Hmm. This is gonna be a tough battle, I have a feeling. I feel like you know, we're, we're in, our head, in over our heads quite a bit here. We're gonna try our best. Like I said, today's gonna be a little bit of a longer episode just for you guys. I hope you do appreciate it. Let me know what your preferred video length is, because I'd love to know. Hmm. It doesn't really matter where we put it at this point. We can put it there. All right, let it rip. Let's see what happens. Ooh, do one damage. Ooh. Oh no, that doesn't matter. I'm still gonna be able to take out your tennis tennis zombie here. I'm countering well enough. Right now I'm not really competing with him, like he's damaging me, but I'm defending myself as well as I possibly could right now. With that being said, what is this right here? Venus flytrap, oh my, that's scary looking. When this does damage, heal your hero for that much. That's a good card. And then this is, of course, our good old. So like, I can do something fancy here. It's like I could throw this card out, do four damage right here, right now, but I'd also take damage from the zombie. Or I could do things a little bit different, and I could put a pea shoot around, and then I can put this out and do three damage, and then maybe deal that other damage later. So I think we'll do that, just because I think that'll set up my next turn a little bit better. And of course, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything you've learned about this game when playing and or watching it, I know a lot of people are watching their favorite YouTubers play this game, let me know. I'm always down for listening to your guys' tips and tricks because a lot of you guys are super duper smart. So, all right then, we actually have a good thing going on right now. I think I'm gonna go like this. I could heal myself up with the Venus Flytrap, but I don't need it. I'm in the lead with HP right now. We'll have plenty of opportunities to put her in there. Uh-oh, bounce a plant. Oh, that's lame. Luckily, it goes back into my inventory though, so this was just, a no action game. <laughs> no action uh, round, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Hmm, a turn would make the most sense. So what does this do again? Get plus plus. All right then. Well, there's no team up plans currently. I'm just gonna throw her back in. I mean, that was sort of a waste of a turn from him. He must, he must be like planning out for the late game because what else would he be doing? <laughs> All right. Hmm, this is where we can hit really hard, guys. We can do this and then we can do this, and then they're gonna get plus two plus them. That's gonna be 11 damage in total, and we're also gonna be get getting healed four for every time that Venus Fly Trap hits. So that's gonna be pretty crazy. Let's check this out. Ooh, ooh, and he has one HP left. We have full HP, very cool. All right then, ooh my. All right, that's actually not a big deal. We actually will survive that. I'm gonna play this pumpkin, literally just for the fact that it'll help me with my quest, and then zombie tricks, nothing, fight. 
then wow, with some really good luck there with the final bit, we won. Pretty darn awesome. I feel like our deck right now, Solar Flyer's deck is a lot of fun to play and I just, I connect with it while I'm good with playing with it. With that being said, plants win. And do we get any uh treasure, treasures for that? Prizes, anything? Hmm, guess we'll find out. Okay, then we get the, ch the chickening, oh boy. Anybody knows who's played against chickens in PBZ2, that's not good. Do two damage to each plant. Oh, so we got zombie rewards. Uh, imp throwing Gargantuar when hurt, make a 1-1 one, one Swabby with Amphibious. We're gonna choose the chickening. I think that'll be better. Hmm. Oh no, but look who is jailed. It's Infinity. Uh-oh, He's he got rocking it, rocking it off, actually. He was in a... Uh, <laughs> A roller coaster. Judge anywhere to continue. We win then. So we took out our first ever boss in the game and we finished our first mission, which was infinity something something. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh oh, what's happening now? Mwahaha! Welcome to the Z Tech headquarters. I am counting on you to help us win or fight the evil plant heroes. Hey, this is important. Pay attention. <laughs> Looks like Super Brains is too busy in love with himself. All right then, and then this is the first mission over here, of course, for uh, the uh, zombie side. With that being said, we won't be playing that today. We'll be playing that maybe in the next episode. I don't need to rate the game right now. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, in the next episode, we'll do mission one, battle at the barbecue for the zombie side. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Plans vs. Zombies Heroes. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Infinity Zebra, so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.